am Dr. Padmanabhan, rheumatologist at Chennai Main Apollo Hospital. Myopathy like arthritis also can cause pain. Arthritis causes more severe pain than myopathy. Uh, myopathy is associated with weakness more often than pain. Myopathy starts very slowly. It tends to begin with a feeling of not being well and then easy fatigue, usual activities like carrying a shopping bag or walking a few steps will cause disproportionate uh, ex exhaustion. And when this is associated with soreness in the muscles and progressive weakness, like for example difficulty getting up from the chair or difficulty brushing the hair or reaching on to some objects in the kitchen that is above the level of the head, all, all these symptoms that is weakness, disappropriate, inappropriate fatigue and inability to do uh, actions which were easy before, these are all signs of myopathy. Myopathy tends to start slowly and it tends to gather momentum. It may involve various muscles of the body. It tends to involve the shoulder muscles and the hip muscles more severely than the hands and the feet muscles. Like I said before, it starts with fatigue, progressive weakness and less of pain. The treatment for myopathy is to suppress the immune system after ruling out other causes of myopathy which might not be rheumatological. The reason why people get myopathy is not entirely clear except one form of myopathy which is very common it is called medication that is medicine associated myopathy. The most common form of the myopathy is from a cholesterol lowering medicine called statin. That myopathy will get a lot better with changing the dose of the statin medicine usually. More rheumatological types of myopathy are mediated by the immune system. The immune system tends to attack normal tissue, damage the proteins that constitute the muscle and cause weakness and thinning of the muscles. That is the reason why there is weakness. There is treatment for myopathy. It usually is steroids followed by other medicines. Following treatment and with exercises, most patients do pretty well. Now, like blood pressure and high blood uh, and diabetes mellitus, myopathy also needs chronic treatment, meaning treatment has to go on for many years before we try decrease and maintain a lower dose of these medicines. There is no specific age limit for myopathy. Children can get it, so can young and older adults. Exercises after controlling the muscle weakness is very important to rebuild muscle strength in myopathy. There are a variety of reasons for myopathy that is not immunological. But what I mean by that is, uh, to give an example, there are three common types of myopathies that a rheumatologist sees. One is called dermatomyositis, the other is called polymyositis. The third category is called arthritis associated myopathies, which is usually with rheumatoid arthritis or another disease called SLE. The treatment for all these diseases which I just mentioned is steroids followed by other medicines like azathioprine, mycophenolate and hydroxychloroquine. The duration of treatment depends upon the rapidity with which a patient responds. And along with exercises, we also uh, teach the patient to watch for new signs and symptoms of what we call as rhabdomyolysis. That could be a complication of uh, myopathy where the proteins in the muscles start breaking down and there can be expedited weakness which is over and above the usual weakness that is experienced by patients.